reduce the following quadratic form into canonical form by orthogonal transformation also find the rank index signature and the nature of the quadratic form the equation is given 8x square plus 7y square plus 3z square minus 12xy plus 4xj uh, x uh, 12x square uh, minus plus 4xz minus 8yz indicate the orthogonal transformation also okay now solution now first you write the symmetric matrix the symmetric matrix of the quadratic form of the quadratic form okay now take this one a is equal to write in a symmetric matrix coefficient of x square is 8 coefficient of y square is 7 coefficient of z square is 3 now x and y x y z x y z like this now half coefficient of x y means minus 12 is there means half coefficient means minus 6 and half coefficient of x z x and z this element is a half coefficient means is 2 and minus 8 yz half coefficient of yz y means second z means this uh, element is minus 4 now matrix is a symmetric matrix is a minus 6 and this is a 2 and this is a minus 4 this is a symmetric matrix okay now after next step we are using the characteristic equation of a minus lambda i equal to 0 and find eigenvalues and eigenvectors uh, lambda 1 is equal to 0 and uh, lambda 2 is equal to 3 and lambda 3 is equal to 15 ok now x1 eigenvectors x1 is equal to 1 2 2 ok and x2 is equal to second eigenvector 2 1 minus 2 and x3 is equal to third eigenvector 2 minus 2 and 1 so how to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors now already video is uploaded in a previous videos watch this that videos you better understand how to find eigenvalues and how to find eigenvectors now first eigenvectors x1 is equal to x y z ok now find the normalized eigenvectors that means square root of x square plus y square plus z square this is x y z ok and this is equal to square root of x square plus y square z is a 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square means 4 4 plus 1 is a 9 is a 3 similarly same x square plus y square plus z square ok means 2 square plus 1 square plus minus 2 square means again minus uh, 9 means again 3 and again x y z is it same x square plus y square plus z square ok and this is equal to 2 square plus minus 2 square plus 1 square 4 plus 4 plus 1 means root 9 means 3 only ok this is a normalized eigenvectors next next step is you find the model matrix model model matrix p okay consisting normalized eigenvector that means p is equal to x1 x2 and x3 this is a normalized eigenvector means first x1 so x1 is 1 2 2 means 1 by divided by 3 this is a column matrix x1 2 by 3 and uh, 2 by 3 first row second row x2 x2 is a 2 1 minus 2 and divided by 3 means 2 by 3 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3 second now third one is x3 
column matrix again 3 is there divided by 3 2 minus 1 1 means 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 this is equal to take 1 by 3 common factor outside now inside is 1 2 2 2 1 minus 2 2 minus 2 and 1 this is a normalized eigenvectors the model matrix P now now P inverse P dash since P is an orthogonal matrix you see P is an orthogonal matrix now we have diagonal matrix we have diagonal matrix means D is a diagonal matrix okay means 0 3 15 so whatever you get eigenvalues which appear in a diagonal matrix that means the matrix is like this 0 0 0 0 3 0 0 0 15 this is a diagonal matrix now now after the question is find also canonical form the canonical form is canonical form is lambda 1 this is lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda 1 y1 square means 0 lambda 2 means 3 y2 square plus lambda 3 means 15 15 y3 square this is a canonical form okay then the quadratic form as also find rank index signature and nature of the quadratic form now see the rank first is rank now rank is equal to see the number of non zero rows count this is zero rows don't count it this is non zero rows non zero non zero rows the rank is a 2 will not consider this part because zero rows only consider non zero rows 2 non zero rows means rank is 2 and index so index means count positive terms only two positive terms is a 2 and next is signature okay now signature means the difference between the positive terms and negative terms no negative terms only positive terms are there signature is also 2 and a nature of the quadratic form now see the uh, eigenvalues eigenvalues all eigenvalues are positive but at least one eigenvalue is a 0 that means it is a nature of the quadratic form is it is a positive semi definite then finally we will consider orthogonal transformation orthogonal transformation is means x is equal to py x is a column matrix x y z p is a this matrix this is p matrix and y is also column matrix y1 y2 y3 now that one is is like this and the x is equal to x means x1 i will take x x sorry x y z x and this is equal to uh, P, P means 1 by 3 into matrix is 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, minus 2, 2, minus 2, 1 into Y. So Y is a, again take Y1, Y2, Y3. Okay. Now, write in a equation form. First, X is equal to, X is equal to row into column. 1 by 3 is outside. Row into column is y1 plus 2y2 plus 2y3 okay row into column next second y is equal to again 1 by 3 is outside second row column means 2y1 plus y2 minus 2y3 okay now third one third row column z is equal to 1 by 3 outside into 2y1 minus 2y2 plus y3 now this is a required solution